All right, what's going on? Uh, so this is this is the um, final words regarding the UCC and 1099 seekers revealed. Uh, man, we went on for about four hours straight, pr probably a little long because I had to uh, do a little edit towards the end because I got a little I got a little deep into some other stuff. But um, besides that. Everything, everything went smooth. Uh, like I said, I'm taking a whole different approach as far as the structure and organization of the, uh, you know, of the monthly lectures instead of, you know, having an open platform like I usually do, the conference style. You know, even though that those the conferences were fun and stuff like that, but uh, it's not a lot that we can do with that, and it's hard to kind of. Um, categorize and organize the information to best benefit you know you guys the people that i'm trying to that i'm trying to build the platform to deliver information to so because of that like i said I'm, i i have to spend a little bit more time to prepare for these uh these these online you know lecture events but in return it is it does serve us a greater interest you know collectively uh because of that just like Right here and right now, I'm here doing another video to conclude the ending of the actual UCC and 1099 Secrets Revealed Part 1, the series. Um, because I realized, I, I thought back, I slept on it. Actually, there's a couple of different things that I missed out on that I wanted to definitely uh, add to the Part 1 that is very important uh, as it relates to the UCC 1 filing. So I'm gonna get right to it. Uh, for those that missed it, uh, that's because you're not a member of the Hellraiser Legacy or you didn't do what you had to do to get in. Uh, you can click the link at the bottom of whatever description that you're looking at for this video, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, to become a member of the, of the Hellraiser Legacy so you can stay in tune, get inside the network, and get access to other uh, information, documents, videos, audios, et cetera, et cetera. Or, mix and mingle and network with other people um let's um well let's do this um so we're gonna go straight back into the the ucc one like i said we covered everything in the in the lecture the one thing i did fail to mention which is very important you want you guys want to make sure that you guys have the box checked right here where it says held in trust Remember, when we're dealing in relation to the birth certificate or the name and title, we're dealing, we're dealing in, in, in the aspects of trust and estates. So uh, in this case, we're going to make sure we have uh, held in trust. Also, also uh, now look at this right here. It says being administered by a descendant's personal representative. All right, so that's when we're going to dealing with the estate. All right, now, so that's, that's section number five. In section 6A, you're going to make sure that a debtor is a transmitting utility. So the debtor is transmitting or transferring properties or uh, positions of title, positions of ownership, and think of those, things of that nature to the creditor, right? Or, or even vice versa. Um, number seven, Bailey Baylor. All right. So we're not dealing with a lease. We're not. We're not doing. We're not doing any lending and stuff like that right now. So it's not lease or lease or. Same thing with co-sign, a co-signee, seller, buyer. That's all. That's all dealing in the fashion of uh, a public finance transaction. Uh, same thing with license, license, licensee licensee and licensor so we're not we're not dealing with that in the aspect of this particular initial filing so we're going to disregard that and make sure we have held in trust debtor is the transmitting utility and bailey and baylor now let's go back to um let's go to baylor a baylor is an individual who attempts i mean who temporarily relinquishes possession but not ownership of a good or a property up under a bailment. 
All right, so the bell or entrust, remember? So we go back to that word. Even though it's a different word, it resembles the same aspect that we, uh, or target focus that we're, that we're dealing with, held in trust. So the Bailey or the bell or entrust the possession of, of the good or property to another individual known as the Bailey. This goes back to the concept of tra transferring, transferring title, transferring ownership or power and control. Just like when we do the power of attorney and you, you have your name all caps, uh, that, that gives power of attorney or transfers the power of attorney and, and or control of power to the flesh and blood man and woman, the uppercase, lowercase uh, person. Uh, so it's just so you guys understand what we're checking and why we're checking it. And you guys can dig deeper into uh, the definitions and stuff like that. You go to, uh, uh, you know, just Google or whatever. You can pick up different, um, different definitions, what Wikipedia, the things of that fashion. All right. So now another, another important aspect I want you guys to, to understand or to be aware of. Once, we, once you go to the Washington State portal to do your initial filing, Remember, of course, you know, it's not going to be an actual form you're filling out that looks like this, but it's the same thing in a digital form. So you got section one that's right here. This is section one. Let's go back real quick. So when you go to the Washington State Portal, it's the first page. You're clicking here, file a financing statement, and notice here, you put these side by side. Oh. Uh, Put these side by side right here. All right, all this is the same thing. So all th this right here is nothing but section one on the on the actual UCC form. You see contact name, name, phone number, fowler, phone number, email, company name, mailing address. So all this, so so from company name on down is nothing but the, but section C. Uh, section uh, section A is nothing more than uh, Contact name, phone, email. Well, I'm sorry, company name, contact name, and phone number. Then section B will be the email, and so on and so forth. Now, remember, remember what I, what I told you guys about this section right here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna specify uh, what I've already explained to you guys in the actual lecture because this particular video is gonna go is gonna go public uh, as a little as a as a sneak peek teaser to what we went over. But remember what I told you guys about this section right here. So just know that this is what this is right here. Now, now we go to continue filing. I'm gonna, um, I just disregarded that. Now, um, if we click on, we got debtors right here. Remember section one, section one, section two, section two. All right, uh, now, Secure parties, secure party, collateral. All right, this is very important. Real quick, like I said, this is just a, a closing, the last call, I mean, the last closing statements to the, uh, to the lecture that we just completed on Saturday. So I'm not gonna go too detailed. Once again, I, like I said, guys, this is public. Uh, for any, any members of the Hellraiser's Legacy uh, that, that wanna reserve your copy, of the full lecture, the full video copy of the lecture. Uh, you still have a little bit of time, I believe, um, 12 o'clock uh, Monday. That's uh, by 12 a.m., which is technically Tuesday at 12 at 12 in the morning. I'll, I'll be, uh, I will no longer be releasing any copies of the recording. So you guys have up to, up until midnight tomorrow uh, to go ahead and uh, get that in because, but I don't, it's a lot of time and that I got an injury I put into. I can't sit up and keep replying to emails and stuff like that all day and trying to get people their copies individually. So I'm trying to, everybody's gonna get their copy all at the same time. You see what I mean? I'm sending it all out. Everybody that's on the list, everybody, everybody that's on the list, I'm sending it out all at one time. I might do one more run around to, you know what I'm saying? But after that, I'm shutting it down. Uh, then on top of that, as, as a security, as a security, um, as a security note, I, I have to limit how many how many copies of the recording I release. And I'm pretty sure I'll have to go into a full explanation 
on why I have to do that or why that's important. So like I said, get it while you can. And, uh, you know, if anything else, you know, definitely be ready for uh, part two of the uh, 1099 that UCC Seekers revealed coming in mid-January in a few more weeks. I have a date and time uh, very soon within the next week so you guys can plan and prepare for that. Uh, we, we're going right into the next section. Every, every, every lecture is going to be deeper and deeper as we go further and further into this series. And then, you know, you know keep it moving like that. All right. Um, like I said, if you, uh, all members that want to reserve their copy while it's still available, email me at thehellraiser@yahoo.com um, or directly into inside the uh, the membership network at the Hellraiser Legacy World. Shoot me an inbox. Uh, all right, so. We're not going to do neither one of these for this particular purpose. Now we're going to different uh, claiming pro certain properties, land and stuff like that. We get into agricultural liens. Uh, we're dealing with on the private side of things. We're going to the non-UCC filings. That's going to be further along down the line uh, in this series when we go over that. Bailey Baylor, we already went over that. Uh, now, Depending on the type of filing, you could have multiple debtors. You could have, you know, whatever, whatever. Now, when it says uh, request search reports to reflect this record, this is just basically um, uh, sending multiple certified copies on a per debtor basis. So if you have ten debtors, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna create ten different records uh, per each debtor. Uh, optional filing data. You know, you can add your own, you know, you could be uh, creative with that. You know, all rights reserved, UCC 1-308, um, public filing for a private American national, John Doe, blah, 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 blah. Or so you can attach any other file number you might have you want to attach. You have any other record numbers and things like that. Miscellaneous, same thing too. Just be creative with these boxes. Uh, it's hard to really tell somebody what you should really put in there, but just be creative. Uh, on that part. Uh, now we go to, all right, so the point of me going here is, all right, where it says collateral. Now you already know we went over the collateral. Let me find some collateral text real quick. The initial filing collateral, let me open it up. Oh, this is it. Oh, hold on. Okay. All right. So sample text right here. So let's say this, this is all your text. I'm going to copy and paste that. Go into there. Now, now, okay. Perfect example, right? This is what you're going to see. <laughs> and to avoid all the confusions and calls and tech and, uh, you know, emails and stuff like that, I'm trying to, I'm going to show you the problem that you may see or you're going to see when you when you uh, inputting the data inside the collateral, uh, basically going to get these codes where they're telling you different 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 um, areas inside the text uh, are going against the uh, you know the standard characters that can be presented inside the collateral box. So now, if you can go, I've I've tried to go you know line after line and cut things out. They don't like different things like, you know, you know, different different special characters. So you can go in there. I recommend don't even deal with that. Uh, what I usually do to, to avoid that is I, I rewrite my collateral in plain text. And what I do is, um, or you can put, you can do this, you can put um, C attachments. Honestly, I have a little issue with this because I want to be safer than sorry. Usually I found a way to kind of fine tune my text so that it, it passes the screening when, they, when, they, when I go to submit. 
and I get rid of all the special characters. And what I do is ultimately I try not to fit. Basically, a lot of us, some of us might, might have a lot of collateral, you know, uh, and then remember the, the, the initial documents that I, that I told you guys to file on the county record before you even file the UCC1 need to be attached or uh, those serial numbers need to be attached. Uh, added to your collateral. But remember, uh, in addition to putting the serial numbers of those uh, county filings inside the collateral, you're gonna take you're gonna take each one of those documents, and you're gonna upload. You're gonna scan those documents into a PDF form onto your computer, and then you're gonna you're gonna cons you're gonna consolidate them all into one PDF PDF file. And when you when you uh, compile them up into one PDF file, so say if you have, let's say, ten documents, ten different documents that you filed on the county record in relation to your UCC filing, your initial UCC filing that you that you're trying to tie to your UCC filing or your collateral, uh, you're gonna consolidate that all ten of those documents into one PDF file by just scanning them up. And utilizing the tools only you can find you can find PDF file uh, you can find PDF consolidator or compiler it's called or PDF uh, compressor and it compress compress all those documents into one file. Be advised you want to make you want to try to make sure the file size is uh, at a minimum uh, because they will limit the file size as well. Actually, it tells you right here you have a maximum of two megabytes. So be advised of that too. So if you have another issue, if you so if you know your text is good, and it's still it's still giving you um, it's still giving you issues, you know that your file is too big. So make sure the file is is under two megabytes. Uh, make sure your text is all good. But uh, what you could do is, like I say, you fine tune that initial text that you're gonna put in here. Like keep it short. Keep don't go too too much further than how it is on the on the sample text because because re, remember the majority 90, 90, 95 percent of your collateral is gonna be is gonna be uploaded or attached through the PDF file. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. So so don't be too concerned on on putting a million characters and uh, and you know copy and pasting all the documents to, you know the text. The text from all each document trying to fit into this box is not going to happen. So only way to get all this stuff tied together is to consolidate each file into one PDF, upload it, upload it into here, put the base, put the put the main uh, uh, initial text inside the collateral, and then just keep keep it simple. And then go ahead and click file initial statement. Boom! It's going to show you a preview of it. Actually, before you yeah, before you file, you think it's just gonna show you a preview of it. Everything looks good. You go ahead and file it, and that's that. Now, if everything is done correctly, you know you're gonna know whether you, whether this has been accepted or not instantly. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it just, there's no waiting. You're not waiting for anything coming to mail. You're not waiting for this, this, and that. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna receive your confirmation then and there, and you're gonna be able to. Uh, you're gonna have the option to to I think I believe you have they give you they give you both options now. You can mail it to yourself. You can you can well I take that back. Whatever whatever you put whatever you however you addressed it uh, box one in the beginning. Remember that's where they're gonna send the acknowledgement to. So if you put your information in there, then they're gonna send they're gonna send acknowledgement to you. But if you put if you put the information to another party that you want to send acknowledgement to, they're going to send an, a, the initial acknowledgement to that party. But you can go back in there and uh, uh, access that particular filing and then request a certified copy to be sent to you if that's what you want, or or just download the copy right off the file. You know what I'm saying? So you can just log, you can go right back in there and just down access, uh, use your, the UCC number that they provide you for for that filing. And then you just uh, you know download PDF, and then you you print it out print it out yourself. You know, like I said, it doesn't do you any inch, any any good to have to him, have them sending you an acknowledgement. You know that means nothing. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna go too deep into why because those are those those are part of the of the, of the secrets that we shared during the uh, during the lecture on on on, on why 
why why and how to utilize that uh, box number one on the UCC one. All right, that's it. That's all. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Let's go to the Hellraiser Legacy real quick. All right, so I asked everybody what did they think about the uh, you know the lecture. So let's go check out, see what everybody thought. All right, so I say so. So what did you guys think about the UCC and 1096 reveal series part one? I said I need, I would love and appreciate your feedback. All right, so let's go down the list. So, so we got Norman Lyles. What's up, Norman? He said, well, I was up until early this morning because I couldn't sleep. Thank you, my brother. I pray and, and uh, I pray I and the rest of uh, the family continue to be so well mentally stimulated. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Norman. Jarrell Gomez, what's up? What's up, Jarrell? It was, uh, it was great. I like how you started out teaching us the ground level, uh, like what you do. Uh, needs especially the ink. I remember looking what type of ink nobles use and couldn't find an answer. I know you have been trying to give us information like that from the beginning. I'm just happy I'm able to observe, absorb the information on every level now, rather entry or complex. Appreciate that. Um, John Moore says it was very good. I learned a lot, also gained more insight as to the future once things are set in place. Looking forward to the next part. William Morris says, thank you for having me. Jonathan uh, Prater says, great. And uh, great answer to my question also. Need to know more. Many people don't have complete understanding which and where and now of uh, what is really going on. A spoken word is often better than a real one. All right, so appreciate that, Jonathan. All right, we got the real Lowry. Uh, the lecture was great, but ended way too soon. Laugh out loud. I think you, you did an excellent job of conveying the information. It was very insightful and fundamental way to help us all in pursuit of, of status correction with understanding how to initiate and execute um, the the, um, the process is properly, and whether one is new to the information or not, there was a lot of there was a lot of good questions, and I thank you, and I'm looking forward to the next one. I appreciate that. I lead Bay. I thought it was excellent, very detailed, and well needed. You definitely filled in a lot of missing pieces that I needed. Even though I did the original files months ago, I always felt I was missing something. Uh, question is, do I need to redo my UCC3? Uh, we'll get to that. I enjoyed it. Lisa says, I enjoyed it. I wanted to stop and rewind a few times. <laughs> Besides that, I'm looking forward to the next one. Set it up. Jihad, this was much needed. Looking forward to the next series. So, man, I'm, wow. Okay. I can I can finally feel like good about filing the UCC one. This uh, Rena Lewis, she says I, I can finally feel good about filing the UCC one without guessing and hoping and hoping I'm doing it correctly. Finally, know I am in the correct place and the platform with real and genuine teachings that has always been applied and proven. And I love that I am understanding it as well. I have a son that is 17 and will be 18 within the next year. I plan to have him file his UCC1. All right. What else she she say? He does not have a driver's license or has never had a job. I plan to have him learn the correct way to contract from the start. Absolutely. This is life-changing and the best, most important, most important way possible. I do have one question, though. Do, does he have to be 18 to file his UCC1? No, he doesn't. I, uh, Haran, uh, still waiting for live recordings I purchased. Uh, could not attend live meeting due to work. Sorry about that. Waiting for email. All right. Yep. Recordings are going out shortly. As soon as I wrap this, this, this video up right here, because I'm sending this one right along with the package. This is one of the extensions. 
along with some other extra goodies for y'all. Uh, Darlene, hi, I'm new. I called a text to get assistance. I was ready and waiting early. Nothing came on my screen after logging to Ring Central. It took me 45 minutes to what I thought was success and discovered there was no volume. So for about an hour, I logged out. Uh, that's bad. I'm sorry to hear that. So yeah, contact me. We can see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, Darlene, Darlene, Stefan Bush. Hell, 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 hell yeah, God brother. Okay, appreciate that. Shante Johnson. I think it was good. You 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 get straight to the point. Gratitude, gratitude. Last but not least, Lydia Manning. Had a little trouble getting sound, but I realized the conference didn't officially start yet. Yeah, I had created an office space to organize and accomplish my mission and thought I had everything I needed. Laugh out loud. Having the tools on hand to get the job done is essential. So I have a list to fill. Thank you. I appreciate uh, Princess Jadid's uh, vantage point. Her, uh, her resume is impressive. I'm pretty sure she appreciates that. I definitely will let her know she will hear this. Although I, I although I was taking notes, I'm so glad I uh, reserved my copy of the video. Absolutely. Coming coming right to you very soon, very soon. I look forward to the next meeting. All right, y'all. Thanks a lot. As y'all can see, uh, we definitely uh, we definitely did, did everything we were supposed to do. Mission accomplished. This is part one. Uh, Man, salute to all the all the all the dedicated members of the Hellraiser Legacy. We build greater, we build stronger. The power is in numbers. Make sure y'all sign up if y'all not members, and uh, if you don't, get in and stay out. Peace.